if I have negative 7 and 2 ninths minus 8 and 5 sixths. What will you do here? Well, let, let's look at this. Is this a subtraction problem? I have a negative and a negative, right? So I'm trying. I'm asking you to combine a negative seven and two ninths with a negative eight and five sixths. So. In essence, I'm actually adding these guys. So I'm going to get a larger negative number, right? Because think about this. If I had to round this, how would you round this number? Uh, no, you'd round it to about negative 7, right? And you would round this to what? Negative 9. What's negative 7 and negative 9? Negative 16. So I expect an answer on negative 16, right? So my work on the side is going to be more of adding these guys. So I need to think about this. I need to think of doing 7 and 2 ninths plus 8 and 5 over 6. <coughs> Knowing that I'm basically adding two losses, I'm going to have a larger loss, which is represented by the negative sign here. What's the common denominator for 9 and 16? You can use 36, but that is not the LCD. Look at your multiples for 9. Does 6 go into 9? No. The next multiple of 9 is 18. Does 6 go into 18? Then let that be your common denominator. Would 36 work? Yes. But you would have reducing to do at the end, guaranteed. So this would be 2 times 9, so this gives me 4 over 18, and what about the other fraction? What does it give me? It gives me 15 over 18. When I combine this, what do I have? I get 19 over 18, and then 7, 7 plus 8 is 15. But notice, this is problem for me, right? What am I going to do with that 19 over 18? I have enough to add back over, so that's going to give me 16, so I have one left over, right? So this was all my little thought process right here. What am I going to do? How does this all work? So my answer is a negative 16 and 1 18th. What do you guys think about that one? Now, the real fun happens when we start to, I don't know, go back to what we once knew. If I have 3 fifths minus 5 ninths divided by two-thirds. Close your mouth, we're not to codfish. Don't you remember the order of operations? So what do I do first here? Division comes first. Remember how these guys are kind of stuck together? So I need to first rewrite this, because how do I divide fractions? I'm going to multiply this times 3 over 2, which is the reciprocal, right? Then what can I do? How do I reduce this guy? I can reduce this by a factor of 3, so this 3 goes in here once. 3 goes into 9 3 times. So let's rewrite what I have here. This is 3 over 4 minus what? Five over six. Do you all agree? Okay, well now this is just a subtraction problem. 
how do I subtract these guys when they have unlike denominators? <coughs> Find the LCD. Gabby, what's the LCD? 12. So how do I get these guys to become over 12? What do you multiply 4 times to get the 12? You multiply times a factor of 3. What did you multiply the 6 times? Factor of 2, right? And notice, am I multiplying times 3? No. I'm multiplying times 3 over 3. It's very important that we remember that. Because what is 3 divided by 3? So this guy is, th this is legit what I'm doing here. So I end up with 9 twelfths minus what? 10 over 12, so what's my answer? Negative 1 12th. Right? And you know something that's really fun is to do this. I like exponents. I don't know if I've said that before, but I think they're super fun. What do you think this means? 5 over 7 squared. 5 times 5 over 7. Means what? 5 Right, it means 5 sevenths times 5 sevenths, right? And what's that? Isn't that just 25 over 49? Now, here's, here's a fun little trick here. Can you reduce 5 over 7? No. So no matter what power you raise it to, you won't be able to simplify your final answer. It's still going to be 25 over 49. You can't reduce that. What if I ask you to do 12 sevenths times Seven thirds squared. If you pay attention to the order of operations. Right, but the parentheses, notice what the parentheses mean. Parentheses means you would have seven over three times seven over three, right? Isn't that what the square means? Mm -hmm. You have one big product here. So you can actually reduce things. Remember, a factor in the numerator and a factor in the denominator. So what could you reduce? You could reduce this 7 with one of the 7s. Is there anything else you could reduce? Don't 12 and 3 have a common factor? So 3 goes in here once. 3 goes in here four times. Is there anything else that can reduce? No, so what do we have left in the numerator? 28. 4 times 1 times 7 is 28, and what's in the denominator? 3. Now, I would say that this guy is okay, considering where we started. But if you had to write this as a mixed number, what would you write? Three. 3 goes into 28. Nine. 9 times with the remainder of what? with the remainder of 1. So for me in a problem like this, both of these answers would be acceptable.